If you are entertaining, crab cakes are always nice to serve for a rich, elegant, and impressive meal. I'm Tess, and come join me as I show you how to make very easy and flavorful crab cakes. Crab cakes always seem to make a great impression on your guests. They can be served by themselves, in combination with other seafood, with a good steak, or even use the crab mixture for stuffing mushrooms, vegetables, or fish fillets. This crab cake recipe is really simple, and you can make it ahead of time. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. In a bowl, I'm adding in some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, a couple large eggs, Worcestershire sauce, a good dose of Old Bay seasoning, salt, black pepper, and this is optional, but I'm adding in some crushed capers, and I think they add a lot of flavor. Finally, some chopped green onions and parsley, giving everything a good whisk to get incorporated. In goes some panko crumbs and giving it another good toss. This will help hold the crab cakes together. Adding in an entire pound of lump crab meat. You will want to take the crab out of the container and look and feel for any unwanted shells. Just gently stirring and folding in the crab meat. I want to keep the crab meat intact and I'm being careful not to break it up any further. After I get the mixture well incorporated, I'm going to cover and refrigerate until I'm ready. You want to refrigerate for at least an hour so all the flavors can mix well and the cakes will hold together nicely while frying. I have a pan that I coated the bottom with some vegetable oil. I have my heat on medium to medium high, not too hot. I form the crab cakes into about half inch thick patties. The crab cakes won't take long at all to cook, only about three to four minutes on each side. Tonight I'm serving with a little side of steamed rice and a salad. To go along with the crab cakes, I made some homemade tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. I will include my recipe for the homemade tartar sauce in the show more section below. The crab cakes formed a nice crust on the outside and are rich with flavor on the inside. The Old Bay seasoning and capers really add a nice level of flavor to these crab cakes. Your family and friends will love them. I hope you give this crab cake recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this crab cake recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook, Steam It, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!